The place to start in filtering your email is over here on inbox and hovering so the tiny triangle shows up and switching it to priority inbox. So when I'm going to do what I'm, what I'm going to do is I want to filter this email. Now I can go over to the settings cog and go to settings, but you can also do it a little bit quicker by coming up here to the search box and clicking on the tiny triangle and this allows you to set a filter with certain criteria. So the first thing I'm looking for is any patterns that are in the email. Okay, so I'm going to click on one of these emails and what I'm looking for is patterns and you'll notice every email says if you don't want to receive emails from classroom you can unsubscribe. So I'm going to copy that and click the tiny triangle and I'm going to put it under has the words get rid of that quotation and so if it has oops I actually have the whole thing right so has the words if you don't want to receive emails from classroom you can unsubscribe so this should be all emails from Google Classroom so I'm gonna go ahead down here and create filter with this search what am I gonna do with these I'm going to apply the label now I already have one called Google Classroom but you would click new label and type Google Classroom so you could label all of them Google Classroom so they're all gonna go in a folder all your Google Classroom emails create filter Then the next thing I want to do is look for other patterns so what I want is added a private comment on those are super important to me so I'm gonna click on this one added a private comment on is the text that is in the title the subject of every email about private comments so I'm going to click on the tiny triangle now this is in the subject line I want to search the subject line for added a private comment on and then I'm going to come down here and create a filter with this search so what I want to do is I want to start private comments are like the most important to me so I start it then I want to apply the label. Now it's already going to be labeled Google Classroom. So you're going to, want to do a new label called Private Comments and label it under Google Classroom. So it's a subset. I already have one. So that it is Google Classroom Private Comments. This seems a little weird, but I never want to mark it as important. And the reason for that is, is because I start it and I don't need it to be marked as important also. I can apply this filter to matching conversations so I'm going to create that filter. Now I do need to come over to the settings cog, go to settings, and under inbox I need to decide what I want my sections to be. So my first section is important and unread. My second section, notice where it says options, I want that to be, I'm going to choose more options, Google Classroom Private Comments. So that way I now have, I have to save the changes, save. So when I go to the inbox, I've got important and unread at the top, and then I have all the Google Classroom Private Comments here in the middle, and I'm going to click on this tiny triangle to change it from 10 items to 50 because this is what I focus on is replying to private comments so you'll see they're all starred and labeled as private comments over on the side if I click on Google Classroom these are all the Google Classroom emails uh oh that didn't work let me go to settings labels filters all right, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to try it again. Inbox. Click on one of the emails. If you don't want to see receive emails from classroom, filter has the words. You don't create a filter. Apply the label Google Classroom. Create filter. 
And now I want to go to Google Classroom on this. There we go. All my emails are now labeled Google Classroom. You notice this tiny triangle? I have a subset called Private Comments. What other filters might we want to use? So this one says Submitted Late. So how would I want to filter those? Okay, so I'm going to copy the default text. I'm going to click the tiny triangle up at the top, actually. I want to make sure it's clear. Click the tiny triangle. If the subject line says Submitted Late, Create Filter, what do I want it to do? I want it to skip the inbox. I want to apply a label, New Label, Late. And nest it under Google Classroom. Create. I'm going to apply it to the other conversations. Create filter. So this way it gets it out of my inbox. Now when it says new assignment, you know what? I don't need an email that an assignment has been posted. Students do, teacher doesn't. So I'm going to click on the tiny triangle and if the subject line says new assignment, I'm going to create a filter with this search. And I'm just going to delete it. Create filter. All of those are going to go away. Thank goodness. Okay, back to Google Classroom. Now I have one that says resubmitted. That's really important to me when students resubmit work. So I'm going to click resubmitted. Here I'm going to highlight. Go back to the inbox. Click the tiny triangle. If the subject line says resubmitted, Create a filter. I'm going to have it skip the inbox. I'm going to apply a new label called resubmitted. I'm going to label it under Google Classroom so it's all in its same folder, so to speak. A filter is a folder. So I create the filter, and now I'm able to see whenever students resubmit, I'm able to get to those quickly in their own thing over here on the site. So any emails you get from Google Classroom, create a filter and decide, do you want to delete it? Do you want to put it in a folder? Do you want to make it important? What do you want to do? And then just make a habit of coming over here and say, okay, I'm going to respond to all the private comments, and you can start working through them.